Good morning, everyone. Where is everyone on this hot morning? Probably in the cool compost piles. Yeah. Good morning, Rudy and Mama. It's okay. Good morning, Lucky. Are we gonna get some kind of movement or are you just staring? Hi, Lucky. Good morning, Rudy Mama. Have a good day. Okay, so our Broody Mommy, Lu Mama Lucky, went to drink and eat. And I'm gonna take away some of her eggs. I'm gonna leave her only eight. These three I took from her. These two I took out from the newly hatched chicks and their mama Laggy. She hasn't been sitting on them. So I figured I'll just put them in the incubator and see what happens. So all these are gonna go in the incubator. Let's see. Mm. We got some more rabbit babies. That's Papa. The quail have been in here for a good few hours. So they're all looking good besides for one is slipping all over. So we have to check it out. So how am I gonna set up their brooder? I'm gonna put them in a box. I'm putting them in an extra tall box because quail can fly and I don't know at what age. It'd be their heater. Even though it's so hot, I don't think they need a heater just in case. I'll give it to them for the first few days. This is a specialized heater. Um, it's not like a lamp that they all have to go under the lamp. It likes more like the mama's wings. It's like spread out and they can go under and be cozy. The heat comes out from here. This whole thing is the heat. And so I'm gonna put that in, set that up right now. Let's make sure that the light goes on. Light, yes. Okay, light went on. Okay, I hope this one is good enough that it's so narrow that they won't be able to drown. It's a big problem with quail drowning because they're so tiny. So if I see that this is too small, I'm gonna check. If I see it's too big, sorry, I'll put uh, rubber bands around it. And now's the time to open the incubator. I hear, I hear them. Oh, you, 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 you have a problem with your legs. They're like not gripping very well. Oh no. I hope on the paper towel, his legs are splayed out. Can you see? His legs are way too splayed out so he can't get a grip. Um, I hope on the paper towel he'll do better. But look how tiny it, they look like frogs. 
Look how tiny. Okay, this is an egg, and this is how tiny they are. Okay. All right, so it looks like all the eggs hatched, every single one. These are the hatched eggs. All of them hatched, which is really nice. And now I'm gonna get them in. I'm gonna dip their beaks in the water so they should know where the water is. All right, it's a bit scary, they're so teeny. Okay, looks like they all went underneath. Go join your friends. Go find the heat. I'm gonna put these eggs on lockdown because it's day 18 and they're supposed to be born on day 21. So, all these guys are going on lockdown. I'm gonna take this out and give them some more room. These are bigger eggs, so the chicks are gonna be bigger. They're all from our coop, all the eggs. Big ones, the little ones. Okay, I got another box. This looks better. Oops. Okay, this is the quail's dinner for tonight. This is for tomorrow. I hard boiled all these. Look at the size of it. Look, that's a fork. It fits on the fork like that. I give all my newly hatched chicks to eat the eggs. Um, these, these are the eggs of the quail eggs and the chicks get chicken eggs and the turkeys get turkey eggs. I think this has all the nutrients it needs to grow and for the first few days it's perfect for them. That's what they're gonna get now. Good morning, quail. You wanna come out to say good morning? Everyone wants to see you. All right, guys, we'll have to come see them later. I don't wanna pick this up and check them because someone did that yesterday, and when they put them down by mistake, one of the quail got stuck, and they didn't realize it. So by the time I came back, one of the quail was gone. So they're really, really fragile and have to be really, really gentle, so I'm not gonna open it. But we do see them peeking. And they're eating all this mess as their uh, food. And we'll be back. Oh, there she is. <laughs> we'll be back. Hello, ladies. She just does not like it when I come in here. <sighs> but they need water. So, let me see. She just pecks at me. Yes, I'm bringing you f a new thing of food. Yes. And I'm bringing you more water. Thank you for not pecking. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see the new feeder. Let's get this plastic out. Okay, there are eggs here. But... Uh, I guess. Oh yeah, right. Well, hey, don't peck me. I just want to put it in a place that you don't turn it over. That's it. Now let's see your kids. Yes, yes, they're managing just fine. She's ignoring these eggs, so I'm just going to take them away 
I think. Unless it's too hot, she doesn't feel they need her. I don't know. Get your feet out of it. <laughs> it's not for feet. It's for chicks. Karen's letting out the chicken and the chickens and the turkeys so they can find shade and forage for food out of this extreme heat. It is extremely hot. Just notice how big these guys are all of a sudden, you know? It's like when you have a two-year-old and it's your baby and all of a sudden you bring in a newborn and you're like, yeah, that she's huge. So the same thing here. These chicks are like toddlers. They're only a month old, a month and a half old, but they're like toddlers already. They're gonna be teens in like two months. Newborns are the, t are the teeny ones we've been watching in there. Okay, I'm also going to take kiwis. We have three turkey eggs. I'm going to take them to the incubator. I don't think she's going to sit on them. Um, so I'll know if they're fertilized and like this is all going to the incubator. I'll know if they're fertilized in a week. 